Hello everyone, um, I'd like to talk about something a little bit different in this video, something I haven't mentioned before. Uh, that is incense. It's also known as joss sticks. I'm trying to show you, oh that's a good, good view there. This one is floral scent. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about how, why I love incense really and why it, um, I believe, has some benefits, possibly even health benefits. Um, and uh, this is for people who, who burn incense, other people who burn incense, but it's also, if you're not too familiar with it, why I would recommend it. Um, first of all, most basic question, I guess, where do you get it? Um, here in the UK, that you tend to find it in places like Wilkinson's, uh, sometimes there's specific shops that sell herbs and so on. I wouldn't say it's very easy to get, sometimes you do have to look around a little bit, but at the same time it is available, it is commercially available. Um, the quality of incense varies quite a lot. Um, in terms of affordability, generally it's pretty affordable. It's quite possible to get, I should say most of the stuff I get is from Pound Stretcher. If you're in Britain, you'll know what that is. And the, you know, the quantity and the quality go together there. You get a lot, and it is good quality. So don't think, oh, it's pound stretcher, it must be bad quality. It's actually good quality incense. Um, so, for example, I got this pack, uh, and in this pack, there's, I believe, 20 sticks each. So, floral, floral flavour, white musk. Sandalwood, lavender, and vanilla. Okay, so in terms of availability, you can get them for like one pound. Good quality incense, I really, I mean, the top quality will be more obviously. It'll be like you'll get fewer sticks and it'll be a higher price. But that's because the sticks last longer or it's higher quality. I'd say these particular ones are medium quality. Um, I have had really cheap incense and, and you could tell and it may not be the healthiest stuff so I wouldn't necessarily recommend burning that but this middle range stuff is fine it's good price and it's uh, it's available in places like the pound shop Wilkinson's has their own brand so it's relatively easy to find in other countries I can't say maybe you can get them in markets or um, in terms of uh, what's in them, don't worry, they're not drugs, they're entirely legal. Um, but basically, I, I'm not an expert in terms of how incense sticks are made, because I've always bought them, I've never made them. So I can't tell you a great deal about that. It's a slightly complicated process, though, looking at the a website of a herbalist in London, it seems like quite a complicated process. So I'm grateful I don't have to make them. But anyway... Um, I love incense. Uh, I'm not a heavy smoker. I'm not going to say I'm not a smoker. As you saw in the last video, I do occasionally smoke. But I'm not a heavy smoker. It's certainly something I um, have never got addicted to. I, I can live without smoking. I don't know if I can live without incense. Now, there's different reasons why people use incense. Um, a lot of people find it therapeutic, but there's different reasons why they find it therapeutic. Some people like the smell. I have to say, for me, the smell is not a major issue. Uh, it is nice to have variation, and depending on the quality, you can sometimes have quite a pronounced smell. But for me, this may sound strange, but I actually like the smoke itself. I like the, um, let's say, patterns it makes. Or, and certainly as someone who's smoked a fair bit, that's also a sort of a psychological effect. There's something relaxing about watching smoke. Um, I guess that's why shamans in Native American culture may have used it. Again, I'm no expert, but there's something very relaxing about watching smoke itself because it's almost like you're watching time. When you see smoke drift through the air, it's almost like watching uh, the dust of time. I'm a little bit sentimental in that way. Um, so for me, there's something very relaxing about watching incense. And if you have some music you like, that's all the better. Hell, use music with it. Quite often I'll play traditional Chinese music. I've always found that relaxing. But you can get Western equivalents as well. Celtic music would be a good choice. Um, Gregorian chanting, whatever your thing is. It doesn't have to be relaxing music, but 
heavy metal, I, I don't see that going with Vincent, but that's just my own opinion. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing right now. Quite often when you buy a incense in somewhere like the pawn shop, you get something else with it, like these delightful little wooden boxes. Again, this is included with one pound. Sometimes you get incense cones, unfortunately I don't have any to show you right now, and burning sticks. But basically, the way it works is you get the sticks, you light the tip of the stick, and very important, you have to blow it out. Don't forget to blow it out, otherwise you could start a fire. Blow it out, and one thing people often do is put the incense in a little... Uh, bear with me a second. A little um, holder, which can look like this. This is just one example. So you stick the stick in there, and then make sure the surface is not something that would be easily flammable. So something that's quite tough. Uh, an old newspaper is okay, but you know if the ash is still hot, it might not be the safest option. Uh, a metal surface is great, like a metal sheet would be ideal. Um, just anything, you know, use your common sense. You can also get more elaborate holders, like this one, which has a skull on it. I've got so I've got a Caribbean style one. This one happens to have a skull, in which case you put the incense just where the hole is, quite straightforward. Now, I do something which I believe uh, not many others do because it's not necessarily the purpose. Depending on the type of box that you have, actually this box, the purpose would be for cones. But cones I find are much harder to get. So what I do is I just put the stick directly in. There's a little lid. Lift it up. Lift up the lid. As follows. Put in the stick and then let it burn through, let the smoke go through. Just pause that a second to see if you can see it. Well, it may be hard to see in the camera, but basically the smoke is coming through. Now, if you do that for a while in a new wooden box, then eventually you'll get an effect like this. By the way, you can't inhale incense, so I'm not breathing that in. Uh, Bear with me a second. If you look at this box, just to show you the inside, it may be hard to see with the lighting here, but you'll see it's sort of shiny. It looks like it's tar almost. When I got this box, it was just plain wood. So if you burn and burn and burn through that, eventually you get this almost tar-like effect where the smoke is rising up through the wood, and eventually it starts to stay in the wood and effectively not burn through it because there's no direct contact but it does have an effect from substantial smoke going through it and that's actually something I really recommend because then you get this really nice sweet varnish type smell in the air um, varnish mixed with incense it sounds that's the best way I could describe it it's a very nice woody natural smell um, in terms of the health side of that uh, I wouldn't recommend breathing it in too much um, and if you are someone who's very sensitive, maybe burning incense isn't the best thing for you. Um, there's been different studies done. Some are showing that incense smoke can cause problems to your health, like breathing in it in too much. But obviously, it's like anything. I, I do burn a lot, but if you burn it in moderation and you keep a window open, then that's very healthy, I think. But for me. When I feel stressed, when I feel angry, sometimes burning incense is definitely therapeutic, so I strongly recommend it. Um, people do it for different re reasons. Some people do it for religious reasons. That's not necessarily the case for me, although I am somewhat spiritual. But yeah, I just recommend it. Um, I don't know if it's legal in every country, but I'd be surprised. I I've never heard of any country banning incense. Um, because in many countries it's used for religious purposes in temples and so on. Um, several religions use it, Catholicism, Hinduism, Buddhism. Basically, I love incense, and uh, that's just a bit of a background about what, uh, what you can do with incense. So, a few tips. Always make sure that your surface is safe, um, something that isn't easily flammable. Always blow out the tip when you light it. And um, that's it really. In terms of smells, I, I don't have a favourite, because like I said, that's not the number one thing for me, but um, just make sure, obviously, it's uh, common sense, you have a non-flammable surface and so on. 
and um, let me know if you do burn incense let me know uh, your purpose uh, why you burn it if what effects it has on you etc in terms of breathing problems I've, I've never had breathing problems concerning burning incense but nevertheless it's like anything if you do it too much it may not be the best thing so do it in moderation okay